The School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine is located within uh, the Alfred Medical Research and Education Precinct, which is just next door to the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne. The university is very fortunate to have this school and the Central Clinical School located within the precinct. Also located on the precinct is the Baker RDI uh, Institute, the Burnett Institute, uh, La Trobe University. Monash University School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine is one of the uh, premier public health organisations in the region uh, and certainly uh, in Australia. Uh, and I think we probably you know, have a role at the world stage as well. It's an amazing school. It's a, it's a very large school within the university um, and it, was, it continues to grow, I think, is testament to people who work within the school. This is a, a real hotbed of, of research expertise and activity. Research just you know, continues to improve quality uh, and outcomes for our patients. That's what's most important at the end of the day. We are really world class in terms of our own research capacity, but what is really icing on the cake is actually the co-location with the Alfred Hospital. And this, as most people would know, is really one of the premier hospitals in the country. A big part of the school's interest uh, is actually clinical registries. Uh, and this is a really important uh, area of research because what clinical registries do is provide a reflection of outcomes in real life as well as ways in which they can be actually improved. These real world data, if you like, also are very good in that they allow us to merge um, information with data or outcomes that come, the outputs that are derived from trials and research and the combination of two lets us make decisions um, much more informed decisions about healthcare uh, investments. So the, the great strength of the school is not only in the depth of which it undertakes research in terms of all these different study designs or the whole spectrum of study designs really, but also the breadth of topics that we cover. Uh, if we think about it, it actually covers the whole spectrum of determinants of health, for, uh, healthcare policy, women's health, um, environmental, social, uh, determinants of health, and then we have big disease areas of interest, cardiovascular disease, cancer, musculoskeletal disease, occupational and environmental health, uh, and that's just to name a few.